Welcome to JSA TV, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Barb Mitchell joining you today live from day three of Data Cloud Global Con Congress and joining me is Sujit Panda, Chief Technology and Innovation Officer for BDX. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Bob, and thank you for having us here. Uh, it's always a pleasure talking to you, and uh, this is just a reiteration of all that we do, uh, just to get uh, our name and just to see, get our customers know what we are doing in the market. Yeah, I know it's it, it's always great catching up with you. There's thank always you. a lot happening with BDX, and I know this week has been busy. We appreciate you making the time. I know <laughs> it's it was it's a juggle to just even fit everything you wanted you want to into this week. And how's it been for you? You've had a lot of great conversations. Great. I mean, it's always uh, great to be in Data Cloud. Uh, it's yeah. it's one of the events that we like a lot. Uh, we get to see a lot of our customers. Uh, we get to see a lot of our peers. We get to see a lot of the thought leadership that that happens around here. Yeah. So that's it's been a great thing. And yeah, it's a little tiring. Uh, mm -hmm. The yeah. the juggle is a little tiring, but I mean, I feel it, really excited about this. Yeah, a lot of energy keeps us going, Absolutely. right? Yeah. Uh, and so what, as you have been going through your conversations this week, what, what do you feel are some of the most pressing issues that have been coming up? I think uh, the big piece that, uh, you know, what, what are we seeing here, uh, let's say, for example, nearer home, Netherlands, if I look at APAC, uh, Singapore, all the times, all the places we're seeing that uh, sustainability and yeah. the way we look at power usage is one of the big pieces, right? Um, you know, Everybody is trying to see when you build a data center, how energy efficient you're going to build it. So there are new norms around it. Yeah. The second piece is that you don't get, you're not going to get power very easily, right? So you have to kind of prove what are the pieces that you're going to do to ensure that you have the most sustainable power usage, right? Mm -hmm. So that's, that's one of the pressing issues around sustainability. Then you also have, uh, you know, I see a challenge around skill sets right? Human right. capital, mm -hmm. right? Uh, um, and, and that is going to be a challenge which is not going to solve uh, as easily, right? Because you really have to do a lot of heavy lifting about training, skill sets, competency, and so on mm -hmm. and so forth in each of the local regions that you're working in. So that's the other challenge that we see. Yeah, I, I couldn't agree more. Both of those topics in, in different ways have, have been coming up in, in a lot of discussions that, that I'm hearing, that we're hearing with our clients and with the industry. Sta sustainability, of course, such a big topic. We're, the industry is growing so quickly, but how are we doing it in a, in a sustainable way? And, and to your second point, and, and how do we do this? We, you know, we need to build the teams and we need to you know, build the skills uh, to support the industry. So um, how's, how's BDX specifically... Um, you know, as as you continue to expand, how are you tackling the those some of those? I think um, in in we've been really lucky, right? Yeah. Um, we've been uh, backed by partners, uh, and and our shareholders are have been amazingly uh, good in terms of looking at sustainability. Uh, I Square Capital has got uh, one of the largest you know sustainability portfolio, uh, six yeah. gigawatts plus. So that's that's been a good thing to learn from them. Uh, the other piece is that, uh, you know, what we are also trying to do is uh, we have been at the forefront in terms of doing academia partnerships to look at ways and means to think, make things much more sustainable. So we, we have invested, uh, we are invested with uh, NUS, the National University of Singapore. Uh, yeah. We are invested with uh, a, a lot of uh, academia in India, we are investing now with academia in Hong Kong, right? Trying to see how do we take the things that are happening in AI, the things that are happening in automation, and and the things that are happening in thermodynamics, right? Uh, things that are happening in liquid cooling. How do we bring all of that into our data center practice? And and it's been a great partnership with uh, you know a lot of the government uh, bodies also supporting us in these initiatives. So that's one on the sustainability side. Again, on the skill set side, while internally learning and development is one piece of it. But we also are looking at uh, a lot of diversity, right, mm. and inclusion to help us uh, look at bringing in talent from outside and then training them and retaining them. Yeah. So diversity uh, has helped us and inclusion. DNI has actually helped us retain talent, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, we, the management team specifically believes that if you can have a 
diverse thought process and and you encourage that right and you're more inclusive people will stay on with you yeah. so that's that's been a great thing so these are the two things that we're trying to do in in from an industry perspective we're going and talking about these things yeah. and trying to see how do we bring more people along yeah that's great it's it, it's always great to hear um from you Sujit, and, and from bdx in general and i know i wanted to ask just you know i it, you had like was it was last year that you relocated to to singapore and and how's that been for you making uh, that move i i have not i, I don't I don't say that I've relocated because no, you haven't. Be sorry, BDX. <laughs> yeah, BDX yeah. has relocated. Yeah, uh, it's been a great move. Uh, I think it's a brilliant place to be in in APAC. Yeah. Um, I I see the Singapore government being uh, very very supportive of local companies. The Singapore government also is you know amongst the best. Among, I mean, from a thought leadership perspective, yeah. in trying to push sustainability. green data centers mm-hmm. right in spite of the fact that it's a it's a, a wrong place to do solar or to do wind right they simply right. don't have the land but the thought leadership is amazing in terms of how do you do grids with different other countries how do you mm-hmm. how do you propagate uh, renewables and put it on an international grid so i, I kind of love the thought leadership that they're bringing into yeah. the region Yeah, and great mar- partnerships as you've already spoken to Absolutely. those, you know, a- as part of what what has come out of that that Absolutely. move. So, yeah, thank you. I just I wanted to ask about that. I was more curious than anything. But for the next sort of I don't know, 12 months or so, what's on the horizon? What what are you most focused on? Um uh we focused on a lot of expansions, right? Um you know, obviously because of a lot of uh, nda based reasons i cannot yeah. go and talk about that but uh, we, we are now um, moving I, I, the, the big piece is that we've grown very fast in 3 years we've been in four countries 12 data centers you know and nearly around 30 megawatts of power mm-hmm. operational um, suffice to say that we should be in 10 countries right wow. uh, over the next 18 months right? amazing yeah. so and and the power will probably more than triple Wow. Amazing. Right. Yeah. It's always exciting to hear from you. I know, you know, we we catch up every couple of months or so in yeah. amazing places <laughs> around the world. Absolutely. Uh and and so thank you. I appreciate again you taking the time today when time is is so limited. Uh, so thank you. No, yeah. it's, it's it's always a pleasure to be with JSA. They thought leaders I, and do you guys are doing a great job in getting the message across in the industry. um the green data center books yeah. um you know talking about these kind of things so uh, i really love being with you guys oh thank you thank you thank you, so much. Thank you for saying that uh, uh you have me speechless but thank <laughs> you that's a great way to end actually our last interview here today uh to data cloud global congress so thank you and thank you viewers for tuning in to jsa tv This is our uh, a wrap I think for our live interviews that we've been having over the course of 3 days here at in Monaco at Data Cloud Global Congress. So thank you all who have tuned in and thank you uh, we'll see you again soon on JSA TV live until then. <laughs>